Welcome back to Wanjiko Speak and this time the video is coming from my home country. Kenyan painter Michael Soy uses his art to portray society's issues, for example, Corona or China's influence in Africa. But his art is not just interesting because he stabs at the establishment, no. His visual language is delectable. It combines bold lines and bright colors and makes you think twice about certain issues. Well, I've said a lot, and art is subjective. So why don't you have a look at his video, his story, and let me know in the comment section what you think of it. This is a, it's a, it's an ongoing conversation about uh, about uh, how Kenyan men are putting on the masks. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you're like <clears throat> gonna put it under your nose, why the hell do you even bother putting it on, you know? Michael Soy is inspired by his fellow Kenyans, inspired to outrage. Known for his critical stance, the coronavirus is giving him plenty of material. For instance, the brutality of the police crackdown on people who break curfew and on sex workers who have no choice but to keep on working. This is a, it's a very common kind of like, you know, theme in my work, you know? It's your typical strip club scene. Since we know there's the issue of corona and that kind of thing, you know, that's why you see the masks, but yeah, people still don't care, you know? Kenya closed its borders and schools soon after recording its first corona cases. The number of people testing positive has continued to rise, however. And though the official numbers are still low, that's likely due to a lack of widespread testing. The true number of cases is estimated to be much higher. Before the pandemic hit, Soy took on the subject of Chinese influence in Africa. He portrayed China as the future leader of the African Union. For them, it's about natural resources, it's minerals, it's like, you know, everything that you can get under the ground. And, you know, unfortunately now what it leaves uh, when they basically come into your region is that you will automatically go into debt, which is now, um, I mean, to my view, I mean, I feel like debt now is the new tool that is being used to colonize, as in opposed to like, you know, chains, debt is a new chains, you know. But Soy's criticisms haven't spared African governments either. He's been especially searing about their response to the corona crisis. One thing that this COVID thing has done in Africa is that it has completely exposed the deficiencies that exist in Africa when it comes to healthcare. Where you have countries like South Sudan that have five vice presidents and four ventilators in the whole of the country. Mm. You understand? Mm. It shows you where their priorities are. His latest work is entitled Say Their Names, about African Americans who have been killed by police violence. What did you guys think of that story? Did I have a promise? I don't think so. Let me know in the comment section below. And you know what? We are family. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for more on When Jiko Speak and obviously all the delicious videos that we publish on this channel.